You you want to see something great? Really great? Yeah, I really do. But I don't know what to say. How's this? David Bowie. Oh, my idol. Okay, we'll just we'll make sure he's our we'll friend. Wrap it up. Um, he's our friend. Chris. He supports this. Wait, wait. Chris is waving us. So what does he want? I'll go see what. It, you know, let's see here. I'll go see what he wants. Chris is waving us. Our friend. Mm. Time up. It's only mm. been three minutes. I get it. Oh well. See you next month. Hi, this is Christopher Boyce back again after that great record review. And let me tell you, lots more in store, including our local band. They've got a song they played for us, and we have a full interview with them. Now, Bryden, what's what's up exactly next? Well, <coughs> Kids Report will be right back. Very good, very good. <laughs> How interesting. <laughs> Can you tell us about the Kids Report address? Yeah, sure. And we like hearing from you. We love your letters. So write to Kids Report. Kids Report, care of Christopher Boyce, 233 Elm Street, Winnipeg, Manitoba, R3M, 3N5. And we'll have that address on the screen again at the very end of the show. And be sure to write in because we love your letters. Now, coming up next on Kids Report, we have the TV review, where Andrew Pavlov and Joshua Schaefer review the television sitcom Family Ties. That's coming up right now on Kids Report. Hi, welcome again to Kids Report. I'm Andrew Pavlov with the all-new Kids Report television review. Uh, I guess they just decided that I was uh, far too good to be reading letters on the show, so they put me into a much higher position. And uh, along with uh, our new addition to the show, Joshua Schaefer, we will be reviewing um, all the latest and maybe some of the older TV shows that uh, we think uh, should be considered for uh, kids and adults alike. So, um, Joshua. Yes, Andrew. Uh, would you like to introduce our, uh, our, the show that we're reviewing? Well, sure. Family Ties is the show we're doing this week. It is a half-hour sitcom that airs Thursday nights at 7.30, right after the Cosby Show. Andrew. Yes, sir. Uh, perhaps you'd like to give a general idea about the characters. Uh, no, why don't you handle it, please? Okay, right. <laughs> Now, well, first of all, you have the overall mother of the whole family. She's played by Ber Meredith Baxter Bailey. Her name is Elise, Elise Keaton. And her very benign um, countenance blends very well with her, that of her husband. Um, yes, he, who is Stephen Keaton, played by Michael Gross, of course. Um, his, uh, he, along with his wife, Elise, are constantly trying to uh, solve everyday dramas that are created by their, uh, their family. Uh, they they have a family of four children, which presents many problems of today. And uh, the oldest, um, the eldest uh, girl, which is Mallory Keaton, who is played by um, Justine Bateman. She is a rather spinny, uh, spinny teenager whose character often conflicts with that of her elder brother, who is Alex Keaton, of course, played by Michael J. Fox, the uh, Canadian actor. You may have seen him in uh, the. Um, last summer's uh, Hollywood releases, Teen Wolf and Back to the Future. They were both big box office smashes. He, of course, is a Canadian uh, actor, uh, native of uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Now, he and his sister are always arguing, um, he being a more intellectual kind of person, and uh, his sister, I shouldn't say, is 
it would be unkind to say that she is unintelligent, but she lacks the, uh, the everyday propulsion that is needed to carry a child through school extremely successfully. Alex has a very bloated self-image of himself, and he is constantly clashing with his sister Mallory, and the two, along with their parents, usually rely on the sarcastic wit of uh, Jennifer Keaton, played by Tina Yothers, who gives a lift now and then when it's needed. Yes, Andrew? I see. Um, yes, Josh? Perhaps you'd like to, well, wrap it up? Uh, no, I, no, I think I'll handle it. All right. Um, in conclusion, I'd like to say that uh, Family Ties is, is an absolutely wonderful show. I recommend it highly for any uh, uh, family One minute, Andrew. May I just uh, interrupt you for no, a minute? No, please don't. Uh, well, family, I think no, it, it's, it's a very really good show, but uh, no, maybe not quite as good as you're making it out to be. Please don't listen to my friend here. It is, it is an excellent show. It is good for uh, resolving any every, every problems not, not that you that might encounter. Not that excellent, Andrew, but it's, it's, it's good. But it, it, uh, It's a wonderful show, Josh. Uh, no, I, I don't think it's actually wonderful, Andrew. It's I a great show. Good. It's a great show, folks. No, and, not, not uh, that great, but... Listen, uh, you, I don't have to take any kind of this baloney from you. So you, you, you just butt out, okay? It's, it's a wonderful show. It's I not that wonderful. <laughs> I'm still... Andrew, what are you doing? Uh, um, Andrew! Uh, that's it from the TV review for this month. See you later. It's me back again, and I won't say my name because you're probably getting very bored of it by now. But just in case you aren't, my name is Christopher Boyce. And coming up next on Kids Report is a new person doing one of our departments. We have Margaret Rossi, and she's doing TV mailbag. <laughs> by, that, by that we mean the mail we receive from doing our TV show. Okay, so I'm not perfect. The TV show getting in this hot studio is getting me. So before I mess up anymore, let's go to Margaret and the mail and jokes. Hi, I'm Margaret Rossi, your new mailbag person. Um, we haven't been exactly receiving the most overwhelming amount of letters, so I would really encourage you to write in if you have any suggestions, ideas, or jokes for our show. Um, if you haven't already copied down the address, it'll be airing again at the end of the show. Um, we have, we've had a couple letters from Jenny, Sarah, Anna, Karen, Bertha, Anna, Joanne, Joanna, Jason, and Kevin. Um, Jason writes, Hi, my name is Jason Hogue. I'd like to tell you how much I enjoy your show. It's nice to watch a down-to-earth show every once in a while. Not all these soap opera shows like Dallas and Fall Guy. I really think your show has a good topic, etc. Well, here's my joke. A, m a man walks into a store and says to the clerk, I'd like some nails, please. The clerk bagged the nails and said, That'll be $3.95 plus tax. The man said, I only wanted nails, no tax. Very funny, huh? I hope you're all laughing out there. Um, thanks, thanks again. Thanks, Jason, for writing in. We all, we all need your letters. Um, here's one from Kevin. <clears throat> he writes, Dear Kids Report, I'd like, I like your show, but I found the article on International Youth Year a bit boring. Otherwise, it was very enjoyable. Well, we do our best. My favorite joke is, now I can't read his writing here, but anyways, so I'll read the next joke here. Um, the great question. Well, I won't read that either, because it's a bit insulting. So I'll go on to our next writer. But thanks anyways, Kevin, for writing in. Um, my next letter is from Karen Pellet of Winnipeg. Hi, I really love your show. My favorite part was the record reviews. Keep up the good work. Here's my favorite joke. Did you know the Jets are getting a new coach? He's from Japan. Oh yeah, what's his name? Win one soon. Get it? Ha ha ha. Good one. <laughs> 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 he never misses a show. Well, I hope you keep watching. And we have <laughs> Well, that's all for <laughs> that's all for today. Thanks. Keep watching. And remember to write. I want to keep my job. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, and now we have that local band that we've been promising for a long time. We have a tape they made for us, you know, they're playing a song that they invented, one that they invented right on the studio floor. I must tell you that it was a very quick thing setting this all up and we really enjoyed it, though we would like a little bit more time. So if this isn't perfect, forgive us. So let's go to that clip now.